right, also, let me, let me, let me take something the, out of that. Primates, okay. primates are also okay. born mostly able to walk and do things very quickly, whereas a Homo Human sapiens beings. are not yeah. able to do that. Can't do that. Now, here, the other thing is the psychological part of this, and it kind of goes to what Jen was saying earlier on here. It's like you want a guy who can be dominant. You want a guy who can kick ass. You want a guy, what, we, what do we say, uh, has slit throats and change diapers, right? Yeah. That was all the whole thing. Mm. Kiss so, babies oh and slit throats. So yeah. when, so when and we, women get really irate at this, but this is a this is via the b big head babies theory here. It's like via evolution is this, is that because women are the vulnerable sex, because throughout our evolutionary history in our ancestral past, women had to spend you know, at least nine months gestating a child. She was helpless. She could be killed by pretty much damn near anything, right? So they needed men to protect them. That's why a dominant man who has musculature, who is tall, who has a you know, broad shoulders, a six pack abs, who has a capacity for violence, was the one that was naturally selected because that was the guy who could, he was the protector, who could protect the vulnerable and very fragile female and the, and the baby who required lots and lots of attention because we invest in our, in our offspring. Women have the higher reproductive cost. So what happens as a result of that, for women's mentality, women's psyches, men's psyches, there is this natural hierarchy that's already there, looking for a guy who has competence, can, can like I said, slit throats and, and change, change diapers. Looking for a guy that, like, when we ask, well, how come, you know, why do I like the bad boys? This is why you like the bad boys, because those were the guys in your evolutionary past who could protect the vulnerable children and the, the fragile children and the vulnerable <coughs> females as a result. So what happens is there is a natural hierarchy there. So women are looking up or they want to get with a guy that they can respect, but also <laughs> admire that they can look up to that. So there's this natural dominance hierarchy amongst men, women, and then children. We, we apply this in our religion. We apply this in our so, uh, societies and our, tri our tribalism up to the national level. So what we do as a result of ba our babies needing to be taken care of for a very long time because we have very large heads. We rely on our own our, our, on in intellect and intelligence more than anything else. As a result of that, it requires men to be the protectors, men to have a capacity for violence, and for men to actually be deferred to by the vulnerable women. That's what we're fighting against right now. We're still the same animals and the same critters that we were on the sub-Saharan African savanna from 100, 200,000 years ago. That's where humans came Liv from, Nick. So does that living, that's where humans came from, living, Nick. In, living in, a medi in, a medieval, <laughs> in medieval societies and living in basically the, what we have now, which is almost re really primitive, but with technology technology that is godlike technology right now that's what's fucking things up you want to know why our boys are like not men you want to know why we're wondering whether we're a boy or a girl you want to know why uh, you know guys seem more isolated or that the internet is a big introversion rather than extroversion it's because we're still the same critters we used to be we live in these in these antiquated uh, societies and these these organizations and these and these cities and everything else that we're but we're also dealing with this computer and and broadcasting to the entire world right now with godlike technology. So trying to catch up and stick, uh, stay along with that, but we're still wondering why we like the bad boys. You like the bad boys because the bad boys were who took care of business on the fucking Sahara. So does that at, take, uh, so does, African African so women, so you, mm -hmm. do you take women off the hook now for choosing quote unquote the bad boy or being attra um, more I, attracted to the bad is, boy? It is what it is. That's, yeah. that's exactly what it is. I, I, agree. I, don't, I, think like there's, I don't think there's a hook. I don't think there is a hook to take them off. I think like you said, th 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 this whole thing is, it's amoral. It's a, it's not immoral. It's, it's not amoral. bad or good. It just it, is. It just fucking is and guys, guys, people watching this, guys watching this, need to fucking get with the program because actually one of the problems is, as as Michael was saying earlier, you know, we're we're now at this evolved state where we don't really need to be high T. We don't really need you know, in order to be effective in the world. But guess what? Women's sexual strategy hasn't caught up with that yet. Women are still attracted sublim subconsciously to that fucking alpha bad boy, you know, chav, however you want to describe it, right? But unfortunately, guys are becoming more and more pussified, right? And mm -hmm. you know, if you want to do some damage in the dating world, metaphorically, of course, then you need to get in touch with, you need to get in touch with that edge. You need to have, you know, some of that masculinity and bring it back into your mm -hmm. interactions. Otherwise, you're going to get fucking steamrolled out there. I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, that should also say, that goes back to her point here too. It's like when she gets the ick after like yeah, six months, exactly. like, oh yeah, because of that, fam well, because of that familiarity, <laughs> exactly. now suddenly you're well, a family member and you're not somebody, the hot guy that you want to fuck anymore. Prob well, probably the guy, mm -hmm. I'm just speculating here, probably the guy became a bit of a pussy and he probably became a bit of a pusher. He's like, oh my God, you're so beautiful, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh yeah, I'm you not, I'm not, I'm not fucking guy. feeling this anymore. Or it was probably the roommate syndrome.